Hey people, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. I want to talk a little bit today about the uh, shamanic stalkers, spiritual and new age stalkers. And you guessed it, 99.999% of them are men. Oh, I feel so sorry for the women in the spiritual scene, uh, the female shamans, uh, spiritual counselors, life coaches, and things like that that... Uh, you know, work through social media and get themselves out there in the public. And it's 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 sad from a man's point of view. You know, it's sad to see the approaches that these guys will use to get the attention or somehow fulfill the fantasies that they have with these women, you know. And the other part about it that's really sad is when you listen or read some of the messages that these guys will send these girls, it's like you must think that this woman has to be the stupidest creature walking on this planet. It's like, wow, you, you can't think of anything better than that, buddy? It's just so sad. And of course, I understand why women get so frustrated with this, you know, if, if this is the kind of feedback or if this is the kind of you know, attention they think that they're bringing to themselves. The other sad part about it, women like, what am I doing wrong? You know, is this my karma? Like, hell no, it's not your karma. It's not anything like that. It's just that these are idiots, and this is the best that they can do to fulfill whatever, you know. And especially in the areas of sexuality, sex magic, uh, relationships, and things like that you know, the approaches that these guys do. And of course, you know, women that are given these topics, you know, for lectures or classes, they've learned through experience that they have to put in the ads, let's say through Meetup or something, this class or this lecture or event is for, you know, single women or couples. You know, otherwise the room fills up with a bunch of these spiritual stalkers and fuckboys. They're like, hey, I do Tantra, <laughs> you know, you know. Let's do some special work together or uh, come up with past life things about they were always lovers and they have to continue their work and stuff like that, you know. And I tell these girls, you know, test these guys, you know, just say, oh, no, thank you. We're full right now. And man, a lot of these guys just totally blow up, you know, at the, what do you mean? That's impossible, blah, 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 you know. And then I'm like, see, now you're seeing their true colors, you know. The stalking part comes in when, let's say that the, the girl blocks this guy. Let's say on Facebook or Meetup or something. They just say, okay, you know, you, I'm done dealing with your stuff, you know. And because they don't want to, these guys will respond with this really rude immaturity. So the girls block them, and then these guys go around somehow and find another way in through their friends so it's like these guys will look at the event, capture all the names of people who are interested or going to the event, you know, and then send them messages or sometimes even get this, create another account, another email. Take the time to do that to apply as a different person, you know. But the sad part is it's like, wow, you know, you need that much attention or... You know, and maybe they are the ones that really need the therapy, but honestly, they should come see a man and talk about manhood first before they start going to a woman to talk about sexuality. It's like, dude, be a, be a decent man, you know? So anyway, so women, you know, particularly like my girlfriend, Orshi, you know, she's a fine shaman. Uh, of course, she's just as beautiful as the day is long, and she has a beautiful natural sexiness. And yeah, one of her things is working with uh, sexuality issues with men and women. Now right now, some of these guys that are seeing that video are already starting to come up with their approach pattern of how they're going to, you know, set up an appointment and all that, you know. Which, you know, in all re reality, yeah, they could probably need that. And there's some good guys, you know. I've seen her do wonderful changes uh, doing her work like that and her therapy on these men. Some deep, deep healing issues can come up. You know, uh, the last one, the last guy that uh, she'd worked with, gone all the way back to where the guy was like three years old, you know. 
So, of course, there's a lot of this is very, very valid in the sexual healing part and the, uh, the sexual energy stuff, you know, is very, very valid healing. And a lot of people need it because that's a big part of our uh, makeup as far as human beings. You know, we're very sexual, very community-oriented people, you know. But at the same time, it, it's probably due to porn programming and things like that, you know that guys just think women are just dumb, you know. And I, I guess they think that uh, all women in the spiritual thing have to be, like, totally dumb and will tolerate anything just in the name of spirituality. <coughs> well, in shamanism, that's quite the opposite, you know. Shamanic women are a lot stronger in their person, uh, particularly the ones that are through my lineage. They don't pass apprenticeships. They survive them. So it takes a different type of woman to be like that. But guys, come on. You know. Oh, let me tell you what they do to the women. Women talk. Okay, guys, here's your big lesson on women today. Women share information. They particularly share warning signs with other women. So when you call, call up, write, and do all these other things... They've passed your name, your profile, and everything out amongst them as a warning. It's a community service, <laughs> you could say, you know, to the other women saying, hey, beware of this guy, and then send your messages and stuff like that. So, and women file this stuff. Come on, guys. We know women remember just about everything, right? So, they're filing you. They got your number, you know. They got your modus operandi. They got all that stuff going on, so they know who you are. So that when you start doing the circle, circling around like a vulture, okay, they got you. So anyway, <clears throat> I want to tell you guys, if you, the best way to get in there, you know, if you really want to meet these girls of power, of magic, and strong sexuality, don't be an idiot. Just try that. Don't be an idiot. Actually be honest in what you're trying to, to do. If you say, oh, I just want to meet you. I, I just think you have some cool energy. I like your work. They may say yes. They may say no. If they say no, it doesn't mean you got to be a total dick about it. It just means maybe they're actually busy, you know, and uh, they're actually trying to do some community work and heal people and things like that. You know, maybe, just maybe they have private lives and that they want to entertain themselves and do some self-maintenance after long days of hearing other people's stuff. But if you guys really want to meet these girls, you know, again, they're, they're more intelligent, you know, than the average person, I have to say, because they have to be to be able to do the work that they're doing successfully, all right? They have associative patterns. Or they're good at putting patterns and, and things together. They have to be to do good healing work. So when you run these games on them, all right, you're right into their work atmosphere. You're right into their work mechanism. All right? They're automatically starting to put these patterns together, and they see right through your bullshit. Okay. <sighs> it's embarrassing as a man because they come to me, these women are like, what the hell is this guy thinking? Oh, sweetheart, there's no answer to that. He's not thinking at all. Unless he's thinking you're a total new age dumbass and this is actually going to work on you. So women, women in this stuff, don't, don't give up, you know. I mean, there are some good men out there. Uh, and most of this stuff that I'm talking about happens to the newer women in this. The women have just passed their apprenticeships and they're starting to be out on their journeys. The older uh, women that have been established in this have already now have their travel routes and and whatnot, so they're not going to run into these guys too often, you know. Um, unless it's in the really rich circles, and you know the rich spiritual seekers, you know they're they're just as twisted as the poor ones, except for they have more resources, you know, have more bait, you know. Um, so this is. I guess you could call this kind of like the hazing, the shamanic hazing of public speaking and public activities, you know, the uh, spiritual stalkers, you know.
but I want you guys, you, you stalkers, to know these, these girls figure you out pretty quick and they share the info about you. You know. Speaking of some sexual energy, one of the things that's really good is, is art. Art and creativity is part of our sexual creativity stuff. So guys, you know, a, if you really want to impress some of these girls with your sexual energy, don't go, the, don't do the I do tantra stuff. Show them something you make, okay? Women love that. There's your little tip for for girls. Women love creativity. They love art and and things like that, you know, um, because that really strikes home with them. You know, women are very creative naturally, you know, and they love beauty, things like that, you know. Um, and you know, a man's art tells a lot about him. You know, I think so. Me, I'm I'm not a very good painter. I tried that, you know, but I do good wood carving. Another spoon, hazelnut, from the beautiful forests of Transylvania. It's a weed. Anyways, I like these rope handles, you know. This uh, wood's very tight, very pretty. But this is one of the things I do when I'm going through my clearing periods. Clearing periods, you know, are that time when you, uh, you know, you're letting your sexual en energy kind of go back to being only you. It's a time of... Uh, you could say it's a spiritual journey, celibacy, things like that for a month or so, a minimum of a month, you know, and just kind of like rechannel that energy into something else. And so I do lots and lots of wood carving at this period. Anyways, women, sorry you have to deal with these, these guys. If it's part of the trail, um, once you get more established, you know, it's, it's, they're fewer and far between, not as much. Oh, uh, you spiritual fuckboys. The girls know your games. They share them, you know, and uh, it, what you're trying to do doesn't work on intelligent women. Sorry, you know. Anyways, till then, Shaman Hawk for Shamanic Lodge. Peace out.